guys welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time please hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so each time i upload a new video you're going to be the first to come and watch and if you're returning welcome this is your girl Luzinelle. and a few days ago i was talking about depression and the symptoms of depression depression is the feeling of um feeling sad you have the feeling of sadness of anger and loss of interest and most of the times it is um it, and, and most of the times you lack sleep you're you have difficulty concentrating in schools a child may drop in their grades and um you lose weight or may gain weight and you you your face just you feel just so lost in life and you may be experiencing depression like i said in my last video depression is a serious medical condition that must be taken very seriously and it is very common most people are experiencing um, um depression and if not taken seriously it may lead to suicide and so like today i'm going to be talking about the causes of depression we want to find out what causes depression so i will start by repeating that depression is a serious medical condition and no one actually knows what causes it it is not particular so some people have different reasons why it, they are depressed and some people are depressed after a serious medical illness or medical um report others have depressions with life changes or move or death of a loved one and history and history of depression in their family so it's it's a gene thing yes such persons have a feeling of silence and, lo and loneliness and they don't know why they are feeling sad and lonely that's because it is in their gene and many things can increase the chances of depression so we're going to be talking about the causes of depression age the first thing is age people who are elderly are, have higher risk of depression that can be made worse if they stay alone so when your parents are growing old when your grandparents are growing old, make sure that they have people around them because they feel lonely loneliness can make you feel depressed you can feel like the whole world has left you and having no one to support them socially financially um may make them depressed you know when you have you like a parent you may have impacted on your children you may have spent a lot of money you may have uh, invested on your children and then you're growing up and you've gotten to an age where you feel like they are supposed to take care of you and you're not doing that and um it may cause depression in them and that is why as children we need to be able to work so hard that we can make our parents proud as much as they take care of us even if they did not but you need to be able to take care of your parents that is a blessing and if it's a blessing for a child it is a blessing for a child to take care of their parents so when your parents are growing or make sure to be to support them socially financially and spiritually as well it is important to make sure that your parents and grandparents or people who are elderly are not left alone in the house. So age is is an important causes depression. So as your parents are growing, as your as your loved ones are growing, as people are growing, make sure to give them social and um um financial support, support them spiritually, support them all round so that they are not depressed and be present in their life. The next thing is abuse. Um this part is really 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 critical this part can really cause people to be depressed people go through physical abuse being beaten by um loved ones and like beating not training like this is the difference between being beaten like beating your child and um training your child and proning your child for the better so we have to be careful as parents not to um punish children as if it's a crime but we should punish them as if we are trying to strengthen them and to make them better let them not have that conception in their minds that they are being punished for hate let them have the conception i remember when i was young my mom would whip you whip you well and then call you down and advise you and show a scripture or probably even before beating you they'll show you a scripture and then they read it to you and punish you on it and so when you're growing you're not growing with that conception that you did something wrong and so they punished you for it so that you can be straight so when each time you're you're proning your children make sure to do it in a way of love not in the in the part of anger when you want to punish your children make sure that your anger for that reason is down so that when you're acting you're not acting out of anger secondly on the aspect of abuse many people go through sexual abuse and we talk about sexual abuse that means they were raped at a young age or even at an older age so it, it causes them to be depressed so reach out to your loved ones make sure that they are um they can be able to communicate and emotional abuse like 
when you're in a relationship and somebody is like if you don't do this i'm gonna do this if you don't do this i'm leaving you that's emotional abuse and if you don't come here we are done if you don't do this those are emotional abuse like so if you feel like if you don't do it you've lost a lot and you have to be careful people will experience depression if that if 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 um they they they, they feel like they, they had undergone emotional abuse be careful can emotional ab uh, abuse can make you vulnerable and vulnerability in, in a very bad way can lead to depression that is why we need to be close to our children. We need to be close to our loved ones, our friends, and be present in their life and so that they can be free to communicate and um, be free to communicate their feelings and how they are feeling. In Second Samuel chapter 13, verses, um, verses 10 to 14, um, Absalom's half-brother, um sexually abused his sister tama and that caused her a lot of shame it is it is not proper <laughs> to abuse somebody please if you're out there if you have that thought of sexually abusing a lady be very careful that's so so bad and um i i recently saw a video of a group of men physically abusing a lady you don't know you may the child the girl may grow may may come out of it alive but that stigma will always be there and it will it will take the grace of god for that person to go over that to come over that thing whatever somebody does to you there's always a perfect way to handle it and um sexual abuse and physical abuse and emotional abuse is is something that we need to be careful we need to handle it very well because you the person may come out of the whole issue but just depression can kill somebody and the third thing uh, third cause of depression is certain medications um some drugs can increase your vulnerability to depression that is why you must see a doctor and i want to be personal i am not caffeine is not something good for me i i get so high when i take caffeine whether knowingly or knowingly like if I'm taking a, a juice or something that has caffeine in it, it affects me. So I feel so weak and depressed. Like I, I start to think a lot of things. So that is, I know that if I take anything that has caffeine, for example, if it was a drug, I, I know that it's not good for me. And I know that I immediately have to work on something that can contradict an antidote for it. So there are some drugs. That, that's why you need to ask your doctor. Don't just get into medications. It might be easy for somebody to just take a paracetamol or panadol for something. But for you, if you take it, it can cost you a lot of havoc. So make sure that you have doctor's prescription for any drug. And make sure to read the leaflet of uh, every uh, drug that you're taking. So that you see the, um, the side effects of it. So that before you, you, you use the drug. So that you know that this is good for me and it is not good for me. And the fourth cause of depression is conflict. Biologically, researchers have noted differences in the brains of people who have clinical depression compared to those who do not have um, the same. There is a small part in the brain called the hippocampus, which stores memories, according to them, appears to be the small, the, is smaller for those who have depression, who are experiencing depression, who have, who have experienced depression. And in some people with history of depression and with a smaller hippocampus, there will be fewer uh, serotonin receptors. And one of the brain, which is one of the brain chem, uh, chemicals known for neurotransmitters that allow communication across circuits within the brain involved in emotions. This, ref, this was referenced from WebMD. That is why we have to be keen and be attentive towards your kids, parents, and friends, and loved ones. Don't just fight and see it normal to create disputes within yourselves. Because the more you start creating disputes and they are growing with that mentality, that hippocampus, that part of their brains begins to shrink. And that is why sometimes they lose memories. They lose, they lose, they don't, they don't remember things. They lost a lot of memories, important memories. And... To simply, it simply explains that we should be careful how we handle issues. In 2 Samuel chapter 13, verse 23 to 32, um, Absalom had killed his brother Amnon because of what he did to Thamar, his sister. And 
the when the news came it was that it, 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 the news came that absalom has killed all of um david's children and that kind of information that kind of conflict in the family would have caused david to die like de get into depression would have made him die commit suicide for hearing that news until somebody came and told him that oh uh, no it was just amon amnon that was killed so we have to be very careful with the kind of things we do in the family your loved ones don't be causing fights don't always cause tension treat people right don't cause tension somebody can die just because of something you said and you need to be careful because the way you say things can cause somebody to can be in, in, interpreted in different ways people you can say something and it, it takes the era to understand what you said it is not up to you to come and say something and then the, you, uh, you come into the person's brain to understand what you say so you have to be careful the way you explain things and the next point that can cause depression is the death or loss of someone and when someone loses a loved one through natural and uh, um uh, you know, cases or through this can increase the risk of depression that is why bringing the news of a loss is very important you must be you must bring it in a very very good way don't just come and say your mom is dead your dad is dead don't say it like that and and you need to be checking on those people who've lost their loved ones because it is something that they will they may never recover from and if it takes a longer time because there's a time for that you get over it not like totally but you, there's a time that you get over it like you get to get used to the fact that okay my parents are not there my mom is not there my dad is not there but check on your loved ones and so that many people have gone into depression because of this fact because they lost a lost a loved one or and many people also uh, get into depression because they, they got heartbroken in the path of loss so make sure that um if you have a friend who just had a bad break or left a relationship check on them be checking on them because somebody can kill themselves because a guy left them <laughs> somebody can kill themselves because a girl left them and so make sure to check on your loved ones and be present in their lives and since that's one of the things that i always talk about be present it is not it is not okay to just be a friend and just there and you're not there when the person cannot be able to open up to you be present in somebody's life inquire be inquisitive and the next thing that can cause depression is gender and women like i said in the previous week women are twice likely than men to become depressed maybe because of their hormones <laughs> sometimes our hormones just fluctuate there are some certain times we just get tired we don't even want to talk it depends on our calendar our our cycle so our hormones are just so different and because of that we can get into depression and then depression can lead to suicide and others there are other cases such as um losing your job serious illnesses medical reports um substance misuse like you're taking a lot of tramadol or caffeine personal problems can be the cause of depression don't always take things to heart remember this don't always take things to heart things just happen and you always have to try to find a way that you can always succumb and hold things that down because life happens and <laughs> life happens good or bad we just have to take it and remember this suicide is not an option you don't need to kill yourself life will always happen things will always happen there's always going to be a good day there's always a light at the end of the tunnel so in my next video i'm going to be talking about the solutions to depression now we've talked about the causes and we've talked about depression but how can we solve depression make sure to watch my next video and god bless you have a wonderful week god bless you